What's up everybody, this is Joshua Casper and this is not an Ableton Live tutorial. This is a tutorial about how to hide a secret message inside your audio files. So I've got this remix I did um, of the Dub Pistols track and uh, I want to hide a secret message in here and email it to my friend who knows about hiding secret messages inside MP3s. Uh, you'll need Photoshop for this uh, or something else that allows you to look at RAW or RAW files. So anyway, I've got my MP3. Works normal, no problems. Come in, I'm going to change the extension to RAW. And uh, Windows will ask if you want to. You say yes. Come into Photoshop, File, Open. Come down to where it is. Come on. Where is it? 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 It's gone. Monkey Weekend, RAW file, double click. And uh, as you can see, it's already guessed for me the size, which is good. If it doesn't, hit guess, and uh, hopefully it'll guess for you, because you need the correct size in order to make this work. So anyway, it's got my size, I hit OK. And this is the data of the audio file right here. So what I want to do is hit the Type tool, come over here to the top corner. Now the top corner is the beginning of the track. And down here is the end of the track, so depending on how crafty you want to be uh, or where it might fit best is where you're going to type in. I'm going to type something here. Uh, Joshua, Casper, Ableton, Tutorials. Come in, move it over. And as you see, it's, it's in there. You can read it. Um, come over, save. Save as Photoshop R-A-W. Save. Okay. Okay, okay, close this out, come over here to where it is, change the extension back to MP3, yep. and then you can see that the picture shows back up, and we're going to play it, and in the beginning it's going to sound funny, and that's just what happens, but... <laughs> So you hear how it's kind of messed up right there. That's the audio uh, message. That's the message I typed messing up the audio. So if you wanted to be really clever, you could make some sort of creepy tripped out beginning to or end to a track and then throw that on there. And it might actually even work. It might even sound like it's supposed to be there as opposed to not supposed to be there. So anyway, I go ahead and I email this to my buddy. And then I come back in. And then he would come back in and switch it to an R.A.W. file, yes. And then he would come in and open with Photoshop. And you say, OK. And this is the new file here. This is the old file, so we can close that. But this is the new file, and as you can see, the text layer is there. Now, you can't come in and make it bigger, so you got to be careful with how big it makes. But it's still legible. Joshua Casper, Ableton Live, Ableton Tutorials. Anyway, so I hope that's fun. I hope you go ahead and use that to send all your secret messages. Really important and whatnot. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.